Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and we are back for the finale of the Fire Emblem Conquest Pick My Units Run. Remember to subscribe if you like what you see, and let's get into it. So, I looked up some stuff before this, looked at the map for the end game, and I think I have devised a special strategy that will work with my team. But, uh, we'll have to get there first, and to get to end game, we have to beat the map Speak before up. end game. Oh, I already cooked my meal. I went for a speed plus one, magic plus one meal. That was the best I could do. Welcome. Because Keen is the chef. Anyway, so for Camilla, I'm going to buy magic tonic and a spirit dust. 10,000 of our gold right there. And I'm just going to buy a lot of HP tonics because I've got gold to burn, ladies and gentlemen. I've got gold to fucking burn. More strength. Also, I think we have to do something that's long overdue. Buy a Master Seal for Effie. So she gets an extra move, because I think that's important to the plan. We have a pair of boots there, but don't worry, that will... That issue will be amended soon. Right on, right on, right on. So yeah, just increasing her move there and her magic a bit so she can do a bit more convenient things in the endgame map. Anyway, so HP tonics, Welcome. get more strength tonics, get more strength tonics, get more skill tonics, you know, you know how it is. Get more speed tonics, get more defense tonics, get more resistance tonics. Alright, ladies and gents, I think we're good to go. Had a real money spending spree there. So let's see, HP tonic go, strength tonic go, skill tonic go, speed tonic go, defense tonic go, resistance tonic go. Oh, we do have a Sephiroth robe. Don't know who I'm really going to give that to, honestly. Let's see, strength, skill, speed, defense, resistance. But there's really no reason not to roid out everyone right now. This is and this is the final, you know, leg of our adventure. There, there's literally no reason not to spend all of our cash at this point. Got a lot by selling the shit I didn't need last chapter. Let's see. Mm -hmm. And I think that covers it for combat units. Let's see. And then I'm gonna need one leftover speed tonic for her in the final chapter. Let's see, so we got from that... Let's see, she currently has uh, the Excalibur Tome equipped because she got it from Yago, our good friend. Let's see. Enemies with the two spaces, take plus two damage, vengeance, bow breaker, yep, all right. So I have no qualms. Let's, uh, let's just save in a slot where I didn't spend all my money. There we go. Now. In case I end up regretting that decision. Actually, should we do the should we do the thing at least one time? Cuz I haven't gone in here one time. Let's see. Invite ally. Uh Let's get Betty in here. <laughs> Come on, it's a it's a fates let's play. You got to do the thing at least once. There he is. <laughs> There's Benny. There he goes. My bond has deepened. <laughs> it's nice to talk to someone who's not afraid of me. Thanks for that. Benny, who would be afraid of you? You're a teddy bear. You're a fierce mine. Come on, Benny, my boy. Come on, Benny, my boy. Come on. Unfortunately, we cannot do that. And next chapter, let's go. Oh no, Garon is made of gum! This is so sad. Gosh, her old growls. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is so sad. Can we get 10 like, shares, upvotes? Leave a comment in the 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 comment. In the comment, in the comment. <laughs> my oh god, that's creepier than I remember. Oh no! Oh 
dog. <laughs> Not made of gum. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> you see, in the cutscene, we're right in front of him. You see, he's right there. But then in the game, we're all the way over here. But that's whatever. Who needs it, right? That's fine. Never needed them anyway. Ooh, let's see. Camilla hooked up with her usual stuff. Yep. Let's see. Azura, get that plus one. Benny, where is that one guy? Here he is. Anyway, for a final chapter, this one's pretty easy. But they that's they they prime ya. They prime ya for the next one, which is ridiculously hard. Okay. Let's get all our beefy boys up front, maybe encourage. Up to attack. Just pair up uh, this dude with Chris, because why not? Alright. And now we only really have one thing left to do, ladies and gentlemen. Fight our way to Emperor Garon and end his reign of terror. Oh god. I didn't give her any tonics, I don't think. <laughs> Fucked up. Oh well. I can always go back and change it if this doesn't end well anyway. So we're in no range of danger now, but we can replicate. Why not? Then why don't we just get our most powerful warriors up front? Our most devoted to maybe encourage the entrap maids to have mercy. Let's see. I don't want to put sure up front. Sure is good for like utility, but in terms of powerful warriors, I'm pretty sure everyone up there has a beat. And these nerds are just for utility. Yep. Strong guys getting got. Hopefully everyone gets a good matchup. Oh shit, the Berserker. <laughs> Oh no, that's not the best matchup for those characters. But honestly, I don't even need Shara to be alive for the end game plan I have in mind. So I might just carry on, honestly. Oh god. You're cringe. Please get crit and die. Wow, you actually hit me. That's very cringe. They all each had one in trap. Oh god, this is not this is not good. That's not swag. Let's see. How do you do against this one? Okay, so it looks like this one doesn't even have counter. Odd numbered turns, well I don't really care. Alright, uh bye bitch. Crit 20. Oh yeah, I have enough luck to deal with that. Charlotte continues to contribute. <laughs> Maybe the real boots were the friends we made along the way, because that dude's fucking dead. But I don't need him for my endgame plan, so I'm not going to bother really saving him. And then I'm going to get guys in here to help Chris out. Because why not? And then switch to Camilla, so we have more move, and then pair these two up. Yep, alright, sounds good to me. Alright, and let's see how this plays out. Hey, stop that. Hey. Anyway, sure is dead. Say goodbye to sure everyone. <laughs> really not much I could do there because of a trap. That, that'd just be a conquest moment. Yep. And then my, and then I get deep off the up. And that's game. <laughs> I'm not gonna. We have to persevere for sure. So we'll remember him in the credits, assuming I can beat this all in one go, which I hope I can, because none of my vital characters really got attacked. If Charlotte dies, I'll reset the auto principle because I like Charlotte. Hey, nice miss. It's a loser. Here they come. Not that it matters. Yep. So once we kill this guy, I'm pretty sure the way will open. Let's see. 
Good god, these guys just do not feel like dying. Good god. Alright, whatever. Get nanade. Wait, you live? What? That's confusing. Anyway, so I'm pretty sure once we kill this guy, the door to the Garon will open. So that's a death right there. And how will that play out for me? It's a bit late for your leveling up now, girly. Yep, there it is. Nice. Maybe switch over to Shura for extra. Actually, hold on. Let's just get everyone who is swagalicious in there. And Charlotte, you need to take care of this guy so you can join the fight too. Because you missed a 94. God damn it, that sucks. Anyway, so let's see. Six, one, two, three. Five, six, all right. That just really sucks, honestly. I'm just gonna skip this turn since nothing's gonna happen in it. All right. So Charlotte, if you could like join the fight anytime soon. All right, that's death. Nice, all right. And then she can go through the door. And let's... Let us commence four. Oh, what? Bitch, get out of the way. Yeah, no, you're done. Get out. Get out. Nope, nope, not having that. And then mend, and I'm pretty sure Chris is just gonna go beat up the boss all on her own. She has the Brave X and the Super Duper Pooper Scooper Yado. Oh, yeah, I skipped the cutscene, but. Da 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 Yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's see, and then we can continue onward and upward. And Charlotte can even join in next turn, which is nice. But for now, I think Thorin is just gonna deal with the come man. Oh god, oh fuck, anyone but that, not the cum man. Anyone but him. Alright, what do we got here? Oh god. Oh shit. Yo, this is tough, G. This is tough. I need some crits in this bitch. Let's see, what do you have? Dragon skin, has damage taken, warding blow. Lot less res. Savage Blow... Okay. Ooh, yeah, let's get, um... Mill up here so she can... Do some stuff. But let's just start filling up our card gauge, I guess. Even if it doesn't make the grand on goals. That hit, that's upsetting. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, and his res was sealed. Actually, oh, god damn it! Someone there, a lance soldier is blocking the way. That sucks. Um, I wonder if Charlotte could take care of that. Let's see, how would that work out if I were to do it? Hmm. An idea has hatched in my mind of minds. So I would need to take out this guy. Unfortunately, as counter and distant counter, but let's try it. Stairs. Oh, this is the top stair. This guy's covering the bottom stairs. That sucks. Okay. So for next turn, let's try something else. So let's get Azura closer. Get Camilla on the stairs. And then just get everyone else closer. And then let's see how that plays out next turn. Oh god, this dude feels a lot with the throne. Oh, and he has the armor glow. Fuck. At least he missed, you know. But I don't think I'll waste my guard gauge attacking him. Oh god, oh fuck. 
Oh yeah, I don't even get a choice in using my guard gauge or not. Okay. Please do not block the goo man. Okay. Please do not block the goo man. So do I have a shot on Garon? No, I would have to take out this guy. So let's see, his resistance is sealed. Let's, see, let's just Brave X. Let's try to Brave X this guy, I guess. Just see to see how it works out. We could hit a crit or something. Oh, he has counter. How could this happen? That's tough. Alright, ladies and gents, I'll be right back. Bye-bye. Alright, take four of the Garon fight. Unfortunately, Benny is dead in this timeline, so... Along with Shura, along with Sailor, I tried not replicating Shura to see what would happen. Uh, what happens is that Benny dies, but I don't think we need him for the endgame. So seal this dude's resistance. Okay. Your res is sealed. Now let's see if we can get a Swagalicious crit here. Just one Swagalicious 19% crit. I will not lose. I'm the greatest king ever. Wow, Vengeance proc. Now get a crit. Wow, you're so fucking terrible. I mean, Christ. But he does attack first next turn, so I guess it's worth seeing what'll happen. Not go up the stairs. Okay, okay, going for Chris, I guess. I'm gonna get Savage Blow, like an epic boss. Epic, fucking awesome. That doesn't matter, I don't think. I only need two staff units for the next turn. And I'm dead. Oh no, I'm surprisingly not. Huh. For your consideration, I would ask you to not do that. For your consideration, I would ask you to not do that. Oh, I actually do make it out of this turn alive. How about that? Now, if we could just make it to, like, the end game of this, that'd be great, I think. Okay. So how much do you do to girl boss? Oh, girl boss can't even make it over there, yikes. So let's try the Grimyato again. Okay. We would have had this in the last recording, Hedgaron. Ooh, and I think that's literally exactly enough, okay. It'll do 8 times 2, yep, that's game. Assuming I hit, which I probably won't, because this is my luck. This is attempt number 4, this, yep, oh! King Garon is dead. Only took like four deaths. Impossible. Nice, alright. So now you get to see my endgame strat. Oh no, the evil man, the evildoer, you need to watch this cutscene every time, unfortunately. Not like I made it to endgame on this save yet, but whenever you do, night breaks through, yup, here it is. Here it Here we go. The night breaks through. Now we have to fight evil Takumi. Even though he's been evil the whole time. Alright, let's unselect our units that are illegal. Alright, so this is our final party. So let us commence fort. I'm gonna do a little cut. I'm gonna do a little cut to plan this out, and I'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. See you soon. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am back for the Conquest PMU finale that I cannot save before to my great uh, peevedness. So we're gonna give Effie the boots. And Effie actually needs to hit a 53 right at the beginning. And I'll explain my strategy as I go, but hopefully Effie hits that 53, otherwise I need to replay Garan's map for what feels like the 10th time. So let's use the boots. And let's see if my final attempt of the night goes well. So here we go. My apologies. My apologies, Takumi. Alright. So first thing we gotta do is shove Effie, and she needs to not miss a 53. Why do we need to shove FUS? Because she needs to entrap this knight from right here. Because if she entraps him from right here, he'll block the way. So Effie needs the boots. So I'm glad I saved them. You know, I unfortunately it's a 53. 
Oh, we actually hit it that time. Nice, okay. And then we need to actually... So we have Arthur giving Perry... So we have Perry giving Arthur plus one move, which is nine, which gets him exactly to the good spot. So we can switch now, and then staff, and then rescue our good friend Camilla. Nice. Very nice, okay. Movement plus one skill gonna come in handy here, and then we can sing a song of conquest and lies. This might actually be the run, holy cow, after the fifth time of me explaining it for the night. And then we can staff, rescue. I'm an idiot. Didn't give him the right pair up. Selena was supposed to be out front. This is why I wish I could save before the freaking thing. Wow. Really wish I could save before the conquest endgame, so now I have to replay Garen's chapter. And then I have to hope Effie hits the 50 gear again. You know, I'm just going to upload this to my YouTube channel just to be spiteful. Thanks, Zedidic, for giving me the most unreliable staff unit in the game. Goodbye. Alright, ladies and gents, I'm going to be real with you. In the first time of the history of my channel, I have made a save state for Fire Emblem heinous I know for these preps because believe it or not I do not find enjoyment in playing the same chapter the chapter before this one over and over again because Effie misses a 53 or Camilla gets unlucky literally I have to replay an entire chapter that's boring to play that I have down to a science because of how much I've had to beat it where like Benny dies as a sacrifice and Shura dies as a sacrifice I'm uh, it's not fun it's it's, and it's a complete waste of time as well, because I have, like, other things to do in my life. So, yep, preps are done. Effie boots, yep, so I'm just gonna hit... I'm gonna hit emulation, and I'm gonna hit save state. I'm not gonna save the state during the actual chapter, because that would be going a bit too far, in my opinion. But there, now I have saves during my battle preps. And we'll see if that's worth it. Because... Effie's about to miss for 53, probably, or 58, or whatever I bumped it up to through, tonic, through tonics. 57. See that hit, but if that doesn't hit, literally I have to replay a whole damn chapter, so that is not worth the time in my opinion. So, sorry if you hate me now for saving, saving before Conquest Endgame, but fuck it, you know. See, look, see, look, see, look, I made the dumb mistake again where I have Camilla up front. I made the dumb mistake again where I have Camilla up front, now I have to replay Garen's chapter, but wait, oh, no I don't, no I don't have to do that, cause look, and like that, emulators do what Nintendo made the same mistake again, don't, it's, it's, it's not a worry though, cause who knew that saving before a chapter that requires a massive amount of strategy and thinking, who thought that that would be a good gameplay idea, hmm, <laughs> who thought that that would be a good gameplay decision? Yeah. Who knew that saving your video game was a good gameplay choice? Who knew, right? Who knew? Who, who could have figured that one out? See, look, now it missed. Now it missed. So, oh, look, I have to replay the Garen chapter. Oh, wait. No, I don't. No, I don't. <laughs> it's great. It's great. I swear. I'm sorry if this is the finale you wanted, but, like, whose idea would... Whose idea was this, honestly? I just want to talk to him. I just want to talk to him. I know, yeah, if she misses again, I'll just cut to when we get back to, to Takumi. So let's hope the Entrap actually hits this time. Yep, okay, good. Alright. And then rescue with Harry. Rescue. Selena. Selena! Selena does not give magic, but she gives speed, so then Azura can double Takumi with Excalibur on enemy phase, which is nice. Which, you know, is overall better than if uh, Elise was just giving her magic. You know, you dig? Also extra evasion because of the speed against his Scotty bow. So I think Selena's the better pair-up choice for this. Rescue broke, alright. Walk down to the taco meat man. And Excalibur, 45% dodge, nice. 
Uh, enemies. So if we get a lot of lucky misses here, we actually vengeance. Okay, now get the crit. Nope, no crit, despite the fact that we changed over. And that hit, so that's extremely unfortunate. Alright, maybe on enemy phase, let's see. By the way, I have animations turned off because they're a waste of time. I've seen Perry die at least five times at this point. Why did you double me? That's sad. Menomina, do 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 do. This will hit and kill me, probably. Yep. So, ladies and gentlemen, I will. I'm gonna. I will start speaking again when I actually get a good Takumi run. Be right back. Hello, everyone. Mid chapter update after I made my save state. I forgot. I forgot to buy Camilla a defense tonic. So, yeah. Just gonna buy an extra one of those. It might be worth buying the Draco Shield too, but now nah, with the Tonic I should be able to get my strategy consistent and down enough, because she dies exactly, which is the thing. So if she doesn't die exactly, then I don't really see what minus two damage will do. Anyway, next battle. And I'll be back when I'm back to where I was. See you soon. Hello ladies and gents, I am back. And I have discovered a new way of potentially going about doing this. Where I actually have Camilla build up guard gauge with Nosferatu on the first round. So I'm just gonna see how that plays out. Let's see, Sing. And... Conquest and Lies. Alright, so Staff. Rescue. Camilla down here. Alright, now I should be able to get nice and adjacent. And this should help with consistency a bit. So that's interesting. So that's a new strat. Alright, so maybe that's a good sign of things to come. That getting that crit right off the bat. With me a song. Conquest and lies. Alright, let's get let's just get all of my death fodder down there. Maybe persuade some of the enemies to go for them. But then get Chris to safety land. Alright. That dude's charging, but I don't really care. Okay, so the ninjas go for release. That's cool. This is actually could work out now that I have the proper death fodder. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Oh! Shit! Haha! <laughs> All I needed to do to get better RNG was in this was literally a way to turn. Who knew? And then I think that Paladin's probably gonna go for Azura. Oh, no. Or Niles, maybe. I don't know. Huh. Who knew? All I needed to do to get better RNG is this was just be a little bit more patient. No. Unfortunately, that Paladin will still go for me, but that's whatever. Or... Okay. Okay. Okay, Takumi. And a miss. That's good. That's really good. It's really good. Okay, hold on. Actually, actually, actually. Okay. God, that Cavalier is still going to go for me. I hope I crit him or something. But now I have Guard Gauge against Takumi. Oh, God. But now he's going to take minus two damage. All right. So here's the deal. Here's the deal. If I get really lucky here, Takumi's just dead. I think if I get really lucky and get some vengeances or whatever, Takumi's just dead. So let's go for it. God, okay. who knew all I could do was literally wait next extra turn instead of getting uh, her down here turn one. All right. So Takumi's going to attack me, and then I need to hit him. So we'll see how that works out. Although, I think Korn is dead. Okay, but Takumi, can you go for me first instead of the Oni Brigands going for... Okay, that's good. So let's see, is he gonna hit? Okay, but that's so good. Now I know a more consistent way to do it. That's so good. Alright, this is the run, ladies and gentlemen. I can feel it in my bones. In my bones. So let's get some good vengeances. Let's get some good crits. 
Let's get some good, good, good. Let's get some good, good, good stuff. Come on, start it off with a crit. A 14% crit, which is a lot in Fire Emblem. Nope, okay. Guard Gauge, that's fine though. That's fine though. Vengeance, okay, now get a crit too since Vengeance is worthless at this phase. Yes! Nice job, Camilla. 38 HP. Only a bit more to go. Let's see. Blood for the Blood God. Blood for the Blood God. Yep. Alright. Charging your bullshit. Hexing Rod. Ninja goes for Azura. That's whatever. Goes for Elise. That's whatever. Don't really care. That's why I put them there. Go for you. Yeah. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. My unimportant units dying. What I like to see. Yep. That's fine. That's your purpose in life. It all comes down to this. You're all blood for the blood god anyway. Nice. Sweet. Frickin' sweet. Alright, Kumi, are you gonna hit me or not? Because if you hit me, I can get a vengeance or something. Oh, a miss. Nice. Oh, of course I get a crit when he has guard gauge. That's tough. Another crit? Okay, Camilla. Okay, I see you. 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 Okay, now... If we get good luck here... I think that's it. I think that's it. I think that's Takumi. Okay, some of them going for Corrin, but Takumi attacks first, so it doesn't matter. Alright. How much these guys even do? Not that much, honestly. So move Chris all the way up, and let's see here. You went at an awkward angle. Alright. How much does Thunder do? I mean, Lightning. Let's see. God, I only. Yeah, I need to use Excalibur. So if I get a double crit here, I think I'm good, or something. And it's gonna guard gauge. Come on. Vengeance, come on, no, get a crit. God, I am gonna be legitimately one damage away from beating this guy, aren't I? Because he's gonna attack first. I am legitimately gonna be one damage away from, from killing this motherfucker. Oh, wait, never mind, he's just gonna kill me anyway, lol. <gasps> please, please, please get a crit, please, get, please, please, please do something, please do something, please do something. <gasps> Ryoma, Takumi, I've fulfilled my promise. Rest in peace now, my brother. Fuck off. I don't need yeah. to thank you for killing me, I would have done it for free. Oni-chan. Okay, so that's... Fire Emblem Fates Conquest, the... The Pick My Units run. Okay. Okay, so... That run... Was... A nightmare. Through and through. Some chapters were fun, but... Towards the end game, it just took way too long to figure out how to beat them. Like, that end game... I've been sitting in this damn chair... For two or three hours, just... Hoping that I got good luck against Takumi. Just hoping. I have so much garbage recordings on this computer. I'm gonna have, I'm, my computer de is definitely gonna need a clean sweep to clear up some gigabytes after this. But yeah, thoughts on the run. I mean, it was fun for some parts of it, like, but near the end it's just like, oh god. Ah, fuck. Like, that Ryoma chapter, that was just so tedious. And that, like, I made 
a save state for that end game because it won't let me save before. Sorry if you're disappointed about that, but like I think I literally would have just quit this game. Because with the units I have, I don't think there was just another... Like, usually people just do different things against Takumi, like Quad, like I saw a tweet on Twitter on Lunatic where, oh, Quadded with Wraithful, Effie, lol. But I did not really have the units to, um, to really go about something so snazzy. Like, my units were kind of shit. My corn had low strength. Like, but yeah, going against Takumi in the end was just tough. Ryoma chapter, Grizzly Wound Ninjas was boring because I just ended up beating Ryoma to death. Like, it was fun. It was so fun in some parts. Like, the chapters were so shit, but then at the end of those shit chapters, I just sometimes felt euphoria. Like, freaking at the end of the Hinoka chapter, that chapter was a pain in the ass. It took me like three days to figure out how to move everyone successfully, how to manipulate the enemies to do what I want, how to do everything I needed to happen in that chapter. And when Charlotte just crit Hinoka, my brain was like, yes, that's the good shit. But, like, this game just has some really awkward design choices that make it uh, interesting to play at times. Like, that end game, not being able to save before. Like, I, I wouldn't really call it cheating since I didn't save state during the actual chapter to rig Camilla's RNG. But, like, whatever. If you're mad at me for doing that, I, I'm sorry. I guess I don't really care. It saved me a lot of time. Probably several hours. Yeah. Rainbow Stage Sage was fun. Bitter Intrigue. I don't remember what Bitter Intrigue was. I think it was the one where at least got sick. That one was pretty fun. Uprising. Oh yeah, that was where the Nosferatu Camilla train really started. Yeah. So that was a fun chapter, right? It was a pretty quick play, so I had to stalk the thief. Voice of Paradise. I, I that, that was a pretty fun one, because I got to do Kenshi and Oka for the first time, and the boss wasn't too bad. It's like the mid-game in this is pretty fun. Mid-game's pretty good. But then near the end, it's like skill, emblem, lol, haha. <laughs> Invasion, I don't remember what that one was. But it looks like an Osferatu did. But yeah, so many times near the end, it was just like, oh, oh shit, oh shit. Oh, that's a ninja emblem right there. That was f fun. Oh, but we got sure of that chapter though. And yeah, just playing Conquest again, it's been since high school, like early high school since I've played it. So like, I guess, uh, well, I didn't really play it the way the devs intended because I used weird classes, but I still feel like, you know, you're expected to fuck with classes a little bit because they give you all the heart seals and the reclassing options. So, you know, it's not like I wasn't, pl it's not like I was playing the game completely outside the bounds of imagination, right? Like theoretically, you could have done what I did in vanilla, which was the point. Because, you know, I had to, I didn't, like, cheat anyone's classes in. I, like, got them married, and then, then I reclassed. I just cheated in the heart seals that you could have bought anyway. Which my audience voted for, so. Yeah, oh, when's it change? I thought that chapter was going to be so bad, but then it ended up being fun. Like, again, with Eternal Stairway, like, when's it change ended up being a fun clear because of the way I did it. Eternal Stairway, too. Like, when I was in high school, I, it took me so long to be Eternal Stairway. And again, Sakura, that chapter was kind of dumb, because that boss was just so tanky, like, beyond fucking belief. Like, that's just an annoying chapter with all the list of Possessed. Chris and Benny. Uh, what was that one? Oh yeah, Great Wall. Great Wall sucked a dick because of Takumi, Rent Heaven, all that. Possessed. Uh, Hinoka. That was... It only took me eight turns, but, like, th that was such a good one to clear once I finally figured out, finally figured out what to do. I was like, yes. Yes, I did it, but the ch it's just really annoying. Like, figuring out Conquest is annoying, but then actually figuring out... Okay, so here's how I put it. Figuring out Conquest is so annoying, but once you finally do figure it out, and you actually pull it off, it's like, fuck yes, fuck yes. That's how I'd put it anyway. I don't know, because, like, this game and Fire Emblem 12 are, like, the hard games of the franchise, and I don't know which one I consider is more fair, because, like... Fire Emblem 12 on its hard difficulties has, like, ambush spawns and those 12 range dragons, so you don't know what's coming, but, it, like, there's easier tools to deal with what's coming. And, yep, Night Breaks Through, Camilla and Selena, good job. Selena came in really good there because of their B support, it gave them enough speed to double Takumi, even on enemy phase with Excalibur, so that was awesome. The chapter itself took me way too long to beat, though. And, yeah, it's just so, so tough. 
Now with this, it's like you know what's coming. You know the game doesn't hide anything from you, right? In Conquest, no ambush spawns you, nothing. You see it. You see the chapter. That's what's coming. That's what it is. But what it is is just so mind-numbingly stupid at times. Like that, right? Double gauge Kumi that can double attack you, surrounded by stuff. Thanks, Meta. Thanks, Meta, for directing this game. Like, I just... It's so stupid sometimes. Like, again, with the Rioma chapter, ninjas took 40% of your HP in a hallway that was a choke point. Like, uh, are you kidding me? It's probably even worse on Lunatic. Like, I'm playing, on, I'm playing this game on hard. God, there are not going to be a lot of survivors in this. <laughs> all my all my units died except Camilla, which is fitting because Conquest, but or Fates in general. But like, it's just so agonizing, right? Like Fireboom 12 and Conquest are definitely the hard games in this franchise. But I really don't know which one I would consider more fair. Like on Lunatic and Lunatic Reverse, Fireboom 12 definitely has some bullshit, like George moving his full range instead of just his little area. That makes it hard to get hammer in that. And again, the desert chapter, right? Like, I, like, what do I hate more? What would I hate more? One to two range, 12 move dragons. I don't know. But what do I like about Conquest? Because I'm not going to lie, this game does have a bit of a nostalgia for me. Because it, it was my second Fire Emblem game, and I got really, really into it in high school. Like, rid I was ridiculously into this game in high school. Like, I would bring my DS to school... You know, talk to my friend. Don't know if I should say his real name. But I haven't talked to him in a couple of years. Uh, whatever. Ryan. And Ryan would have watched me play it. Not going to say his last name. That that would be too easy to trace back to me. But Ryan. If he would watch me play this in our fucking computer applications class. Because, like, that class was easy. Because our teacher got, like, nine concussions. Not lying to you, by the way. Actually, that might have been... Too whatever. I'm going to stop giving specific details. But th I, I just played... I just goofed around in that class. Me and Ryan just played fucking Pokemon sometimes and talked about bullshit. It was bullshit. But I brought my DS to that class because I was the teacher's favorite, so she would just let me play it because I was done with all my work anyway. And I would just play... I would play this video game. I would play this Fire Emblem Conquest video game. And did Smash Club because I was in that... Anyway, so in clubs, I would play this game... And I would, when I got out, because we played stock matches, right? And we did, like, eight-player smash sometimes. So I'd play this game during that. And, like, I remember, I specifically remember in high school, the moment a club was wrapping up and I was like, all right, well, all the TVs are set up anyway. May as well try while we're still in the room. It just killed Kumi. This was hard mode, by the way, still. And I was playing with, like, God, I, I had no idea what I was doing. I had, like, Lucina class Perry and, like, Ike class Corrin. And, like, Ballista Shura. It was so bullshit. I had no idea what I was doing, but it was fun. And I was like, yes, I finally fucking beat Kumi. I don't know why, but I remember some girl in that club was playing Birthright on Phoenix mode, and in my mind I was like, casual. I didn't say it out loud, though. She was pretty nice. I forgot her name, though. But, yeah. This game is nostalgic for me. It's a lot of fun in some areas. Like, the music is great. Art direction is great. Everything about this game is so great, except, like, two things that really drag it down. The story is... I skipped all the cutscenes in this game for a reason. Except the funny ones, like Ryoma killing himself. Because fuck Ryoma. But this game is just so... It's such a mixed bag, right? Like... There are so many moments of frustration, but then a few fleeting moments of euphoria when you finally do it. Like, I was so... You heard me breathing. I was so relieved when Takumi finally fucking died. And there were fun units to use in this game. Like, I thought, like, Sage Camilla was a joke pick at first, but ended up being instrumental to my victory in many chapters. Like, the units were fun to use. Like, Cavalier... Like, hyper-offensive Cavalier Charlotte. Beautiful shit right there. Love that. But... God, it's just such a mixed bag, because this game makes me so mad, but so, so happy at the same time. I don't understand. I don't understand. Like, so happy, yet so mad at the same time. Oh, jeez, machine's starting to shit a bit there, wow. Well, hey, don't ruin the final song. Okay. Well, I'm doing my credits rant that I do sometimes at the end of video games on this channel. You good, G? You good? You fine? Anyway. 
So yeah, there were definitely were. Mechanist Shura, beautiful. Replicate, beautiful. Savage Bow, beautiful. Love that. Love Shura. With me. Soundtrack, beautiful. I love the Fate soundtrack. Perry was funny. She was she was very important in the end game. Like, she was fine in the mid game, fell off late game, but then in the end game was very important. Very important. Elise let Camilla use an to a lot, so that was fun. Anyway, so those are my thoughts on Conquest. I hate it, but I love it. I'm not playing any other base game on this channel, by the way. You think, you think I'm playing <laughs> Revelation? <laughs> no. No. Not gonna happen. Selena, kind of shitty in the early game, but came in really handy in the late game. Compared to, like, Corrin, who kind of fell off of it at the end. Oh, shit, she actually survived. That's right. That's nice. Glad some of them survived. Yeah. Overall, a lot of deaths. Like, ooh, Shara, definitely my most, or I'm not gonna say my most, like top three most important combat units. She one rounded stuff. She got that EXP. She slayed Queen Slade. Niles was all right. Fine early game, kind of fell off in the end game because I didn't. Like conquest, like I gave a lot of EXP to like three units, like Camilla, Charlotte, and Selena. Those were the EXP units. This guy, great. 10 out of 10 unit. Love this guy. Too bad he died in the Garon chapter. Didn't even get to see endgame. Although I definitely would have just used him as death fodder. <laughs> Benny, my boy. Benny, my boy. Benny, my boy. What can I say? He was great. Blocked some stuff. Very instrumental to my victory. Benny, my boy. Camilla. <laughs> best unit in the game, baby. Come on. We all know Camilla's the best unit in Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem. She focused instead on humanitarian efforts, adopted as many as 11 children by some accounts. Jesus Christ. Oh, well, I guess she is a mother. She's a motherly figure. Corin. I uh, kind of fell off a bit near the end there. It wasn't too important. I will say, Oni Chieftain, I was wary of it at first, but Seal Resistance, right? Seal Resistance came in handy a lot of times. <laughs> Like, a surprising amount of times. So, very good utility near the end game, I must say. And one of the best combat units in the early game. So, that was fun. And is that it? Just the credits? Alright. So, final thoughts on Fire Emblem Conquest after playing it again. I think I probably would have had a more fun time if I just used the normal classes and played the game the way it wanted me to. Would have had a better time that way. But, this is a PMU. Come on. Playing games vanilla. Pshaw. Pasha. Hmm. Hope we get to the special things soon. A lot of people did work on this game. I just, um, you know, this game is like surprisingly well thought out. Because you know, Awakening maps were not well thought out. Shadows of Valentia maps were not remade. Three Houses maps, some are fine. A lot of them are just Lysithia warp kill boss maps. Even on Maddening, even on Three Houses Maddening, it's like you get the warp on the Lysithia. You'll warp in Byleth or whoever. Bye, bitch. The end chapter. Like, so many, like, 90% of Three Houses chapters are just beaten that way. It's fucking hilarious. But this game is, is, like, for the new era of Fire Emblem that started since Awakening, the map design in this game is, like, surprisingly well thought out. Like, do you know how many different strategies I had to try on that end game map just to get the knight, the entrapped knight to move the right way? Like, every tile is placed specifically to where I had to give Effie the boots to get her into a specific corner. Like, this... The maps in this game are designed so specifically. It's really good in that regard. It's designed so specifically compared to something like Awakening, where it's like, oh, route the enemy, open field, lo 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 This game is designed so specifically to be a way it is, but I don't know if I agree with the way it is. Like, you can definitely say they had a concrete vision while making this, compared to Revelation and Birthright, which is just stupid. You can definitely see they had a they had a direction behind the map design in this game. But the thing is, I don't know if I agree with that direction, because Skill Emblem can kind of take the fun out of that, like, right? Like, Skill Emblem can sometimes very much take the fun out of games. Like, again, with that Real Mahalo, with the Grizzly Wound Ninjas, and then with Freaking. But then again, it helped me at the end there, because otherwise, Bowbreaker, if I didn't have Bowbreaker on Camilla, Takumi would have wrecked me. So, I don't know, Skill Emblem just makes the game so stupid sometimes. Like, 
And then there's freaking um, stupid Hinoka with, oh, what if we packed Iowa's shield and cancel all flyer negativity by giving her throne bonuses in one skill. Also, rent heaven to Kumi. Lol, lol, lol. It just feels like in some chapters, this game can really just kill you if it feels like it, and then there's nothing you can do about it. So that's tough. Looks like we're at the end of the credits. Yep, special thanks. Takishi Ikanama, Daisuke Nakajima, Ryochi Cheshirua, Hiroko Sasaki, Akira Nishimura, Yotuka Emora, Takashi Shono, Kenji Itsuno, and Keshibashi, Yosuke Iko, Hideki Araki, Araki Kenshiani, Tomoko Nakayama. Alright, so those are the guys we're putting in the dungeon for creating this game. A lot of logos here. General producer, Tahuru Nahiro, general producer, Shuni Takashan. You got these credits are still going. Intelligent Systems Co. LTD. And the way this ends, like these credits, God, it's just so... How do I feel about this game? Do I like it or do I hate it? Terawada, there's the man, the man, the myth, the legend. <sighs> he was nice to have around. He was a nice guy, I miss him. God, do these credits ever end? You already did the special thanks. Oh, the end, well. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been the Fire Emblem Fates PMU. It was fun sometimes. Remember to subscribe if you like what you see, and bye bye